What's up, Disney Infiniteers? Welcome to today's video where we talk my top five things to look forward to in 2016 with Disney Infinity 3.0. Happy New Year, Disney Infiniteers! With 2016 here and in full effect, I wanted to discuss my top 5 things I'm most looking forward to in Disney Infinity this year. Number 5. Zootopia and Classical Disney Figures Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps are set to star in Disney's upcoming Zootopia and are heading to Disney Infinity 3.0. Ever since I saw the first Zootopia teaser, I was intrigued at what the latest Disney film could bring. Fast forward to the recent Sloth trailer, and just try not to laugh out loud at this. <laughs> it's a film that seems to be tapping into Disney's uncanny ability to animate animals with the signature charming style that only Disney knows how to pull off. With the inclusion of these two figures and the Zootopia Power Disc Pack arriving in Disney Infinity 3.0 this March alongside the film, the big question on everyone's mind is, what other classic Disney characters could join them? With JV confirming that more are indeed on the way, this will be something lots of Infinity fans will be keeping an eye out for. And with the confirmation of a recent conference call, multiple play sets are coming next year. At least one more alongside the already announced Marvel Battlegrounds. Now my question is, could Zootopia be having its own play set? Or maybe we'll save another play set for another animated film later this year. Hmm. Number 4. New MCU Marvel Figures When Hulkbuster and Ultron were both announced, I was so thrilled that they designed both based off the Avengers Age of Ultron film. This was the first time figures were modeled after their Marvel Cinematic Universe, or MCU for short, versions. When Captain America the First Avenger was announced, I was even more excited because it confirmed a trend that could be very interesting moving forward, aligning new figures alongside the latest MCU Marvel films. Besides, with the upcoming Civil War film heading our way within a few months, and a Vision figure that was teased in a recent article, who knows what else is heading our way? And don't forget, Marvel fans, we get Doctor Strange in November, so I don't think it would be so strange to see a figure out this November alongside the latest Marvel film then. Number 3. More Playsets and the Future of Infinity With the four major families already connected through Infinity, including Disney, Disney Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars, it raises the question, what is next? They've stated that this is a platform. The obvious inclusion in my mind would be a Kingdom Hearts crossover. With the King Mickey power discs handed out at D23, it had a lot of fans raving. Furthermore, the announcement of Sora's Keyblade as the ultimate unlock in 3.0 had fans downright salivating for more. It would be very interesting to see if 4.0 introduces Kingdom Hearts figures like Sora himself in the franchise. After all, with Kingdom Hearts 3 in development, perhaps yet another alignment may be in the cards for the Disney Infinity franchise. The other inclusion, though to a much, much lesser extent, is X-Men. Disney Infinity's official accounts have responded to X-Men inquiries asking fans who they'd like to see when it comes to X-Men. So it is possible, though like I've mentioned, unlikely at this time. When artist and Infinity fan Hector Moran released his fan-made Disney Infinity X-Men figures designed off the 90s cartoons, it sent fans into a frenzy. It picked up steam in the media because not only were the figures amazingly cool to look at, but it also made you realize that there is an entire Marvel roster just waiting for their time to shine in the future. And that's the beautiful thing about Disney Infinity. The possibilities are endless, as they say. Lastly, and I don't want to get too excited for this, Part of the Lucas deal with Disney included the rights to Indiana Jones. This means, with rumors swirling around a fifth film happening, it could mean the potential of Indiana Jones coming to Disney Infinity. Now we've seen fans create their vision of it before, so how awesome would it be? Maybe not soon, but something to keep in the back of your mind. It could be a possibility in the future. Number 2. Marvel Battlegrounds This fight ends here. Marvel Battlegrounds looks absolutely sick. The next announced playset is heading our way in just a few short months in March 2016. It brings the new Marvel figures such as Captain America the First Avenger based off the MCU cap as well as a teased Vision figure. The collections we began in 2.0 will be relevant more than ever and every single Marvel figure will be compatible with the playset itself. It will also mark the first time Disney Infinity brings us four player local co-op as well as a full-fledged single player story. Additionally, all previous Marvel power discs will work in a very cool and unique way in the playset as well. 
From the first match they showed off at New York Comic Con, along with all the news I've covered in various videos, I am super excited about this playset, though admittedly, I'm not the biggest fighting games fan. Yet, with all the new balancing across the figures, new moves created for the playset, and of course, the new figures themselves, Marvel Battlegrounds will be one fun playset when it arrives in our hands this year. Hopefully, Ant-Man is announced soon as well, because this tease is still teasing us in a big way. Number 1. The Peter Pan figure. All it takes is a happy thought. And for me, Peter Pan heading to Disney Infinity is one of the best announcements of all time. Besides the fact he is my favorite Disney character ever, it's bringing that classic Disney back to the series which so many fans are requesting. And that's what it's all about, right? Our Disney Infinity is the hashtag used to express which figures we'd like to see added. And since day one, I've always hoped for him to be added to the Infinity roster. The best part about him is that he was voted via the Toy Box Master Artists at the Toy Box Summit this past summer. I could only cross my fingers for Pan, and now it's a reality. He's flying his way onto the Infinity roster. This figure will be the first in a line of Toy Box Master Artist picks. Each year, the Toy Box Master Artists will work with the Infinity teams to select a new character to release in Disney Infinity every year. This is a truly special way for all the hard work they put in creating some of the most fun that you can have in this franchise. A big shout out to each and every Infiniteer out there who use their own creativity and, well, happy thoughts to create such amazing work. You guys are the lifeline of this franchise. So which stories or exciting adventures are you looking most forward to in this year for Disney Infinity? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for all the latest Disney Infinity news and content.